Okay, so these are uh, the tutorials um, from me, Legato. Uh, this one's basically going to take you through how to create a simple room um, using the hammer editor. So, here we go. Basically, this is your grid, uh, this is your top down view, this is your side view, and this is your front view. All you want to do first is to create a room, use this tool here, which is the block tool click that once and up here you'll see that it says primitives block you can change this to arch, cylinder, sphere or different types but to create a simple room we're going to leave it on block so on the top down uh, grid we're going to move the mouse across to make a small square room like so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on these use the mouse wheel to zoom in uh, we're going to create the uh, make the room a little bit higher and then we're going to press enter that's created the room and as you can see if you use this tool here which is the camera tool we can actually look around and there's a block but at the moment it's solid so we need to make this hollow um, first of all let me apologize for the noise outside and this here so but anyway we'll carry on if we press right click and go down to make hollow it's just there. See it? Click that once and a little box appears. Now, this is where you determine how thick your walls are. I usually make them minus a number so that the the actual walls become outside. So you don't actually in effect you don't lose space on the inside. So I'm gonna keep it at minus twelve and just press enter once. You could make it minus one, minus two, minus, you know what I mean? Or one, two, three. It's totally up to you. Take the camera and move inside the room, and there you go. This is a hollow box. See, this is the outside, and this is the inside. Rather simple. Next, we need to create a player spawn. If we click this tool here, which is the entity tool, you can see where it said block and primitives. It's now changed to entities and whatever entity you're using. Mine's currently on light, but to create a player start we want to have a look for an info underscore player and obviously you can see it's already guessed that we're looking for a counter terrorist you could use terrorist but that's totally up to you I'm just going to use counter terrorist what we want to do there now is click anywhere on the floor of the map and after a second as you can see a counter terrorist has appeared you don't need to do anything with him, just make sure he's not stuck in the walls or stuck in the floor as that can get on a lot of people's nerves in a map. So at the moment he's stood in a pitch black room, which isn't very good to be honest. So again, we click the Entities tool, go back to where it says Info Player Counter Terrorist, and then we have a look for Light. The simplest way to do that is just to type in Light. And as you can see, it's appeared there, top of the list. Then we want to zoom in a little bit, use the mouse wheel again just so we get a better view of what's going on uh, and then just like pointing out a grid, grid, grid reference um, click once on the map on the top down as you can see it's giving you you know, a cross reference to where it's going to be from the top but as you can see from the side view that's a little bit too high so what we do is we just drag it down to the, about the centre of the room obviously on your more advanced maps you'd put them under these light bulbs and put them in different areas to create different dynamic effects and stuff like that but for this simple one just put it in the centre of the room and press enter for this simple tutorial you don't need to change the settings I'll go into that in detail later but if you were to save your map with obviously file save as you know how to do that it's with all windows programs um, I'll just do that now just to show you the next part uh, so I'll just call it test um, to actually get this to play in game you would then have to click this little button here I don't know if you can see it it looks like uh, well, I have no idea what it looks like but basically it's your run map so just press it it's in between these tools here and these tools here just this one here if you missed it click it once and up comes the simple dialog for your, for your for this test map and for your very early maps, just use this one. Don't don't click expert. Um, strangely, mine's got a little bit messed up there. Hmm. Leave it on normal. 
um, and leave all these because that'll be fine for this. And then if you press OK, as you can see, the compile process window comes up. Let it do its stuff. Um, for this map, you'd be lucky that it's only done. Um, it's done, it, you know, quite quickly. Uh, as you get your maps bigger and bigger, obviously this will take a good couple of hours. So, if you then go into game and you run around, you'll just have this little room and your man in it. Simple as. Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope you watch my next one. Um, we'll see what we do then. Okay.